हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू डॉक्टर सुभाष टेक्निकल कैंपस जूनागढ़ टुडेज ट्यूटोरियल टॉपिक इज बाइपोलर जंक्शन ट्रांजिस्टर इट्स सिंपली इज कॉल बीजेटी नाउ इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल स्टार्ट अबाउट बेजिक ऑफ बीजेटी देन आफ्टर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ बीजेटी एंड लास्ट वी विल सी अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बीजेटी एंड एफ सो लेट्स टेक ए लुक the first one we start with basic model of bjt now in this side we will discuss about the basic structure and the terminal indication and terminal name of bjt now the two type of transistor is available the first type is pnp transistor and second type is npn transistor this two type is we will see in the this slide the first one pnp transistor now the three terminal first terminal name emitter base and collector this three terminal is common in both pnp as well as in npn here this terminal name indicate the inside the three layer the first layer name emitter second layer name is base and third layer name is collector this three layer or we can say that this three layer sandwich type structure is available in transistor now in pnp transistor there is a three p, uh, three type of material is required to made up of this transistor the first type is p type n type and p type now we already know about the p type semiconductor n type semiconductor and p type semiconductor this majority and minority charge carrier is different according to the semiconductor material now now in second this figure will indicate the if you want to design a transistor using diode now diode diode is a two terminal device anode and cathode in diode there is a inside p type material and n type material means whenever we connect back to back diode like this means both cathode are connected each other this cathode is connected each other and anode is different end then it simply works as a pnp transistor because here in diode this is a p type material this is n type material also this is p type and n type that means n type is common between this two diode and p type is different here also the npn transistor if you want to design a npn transistor using diode then you have to connect both anode of this diode means both anode of this diode and cathode is different end then we can design a npn transistor now friends you have to remember this symbol this most important symbol because in circuitry there is a uh, we have to use the symbol for the circuit design now in pnp transistor this arrow in emitter this arrow is inside the transistor and in npn transistor this arrow is outside the transistor means you have to remember this arrow direction because if we draw the wrong arrow then different uh, component means component is different npn and pnp now this one is about the symbol and basic structure of pnp transistor as well as npn transistor now current and voltage is different in different terminal means emitter current is ie collector current is ic base current is ib and voltage different between two lead is indicate the voltage difference of the emitter base emitter collector and base collector now you have to remember this current and voltage uh, you can take a screenshot so you can write this uh, figure in your notebook now next the bjt uh basic configuration is like this means if we talk about the pnp bjt or pnp transistor then uh, in previous slide we will see the p type material n type and p type here the collector base and emitter here the arrow is inside so this transistor is pnp transistor and here arrow is outside and this indicate the this transistor is a uh, npn transistor and this is the symbol of uh, bjt both bjt npn as well as pnp now if you want to understand the basic concept of transistor operation then you have to remember this figure because here transistor is a current control device 
now we uh, know about the current control what is current control device if we change the input current according to the input current output current or output quantity change then this device or any device is known as current control device means here you have to control the input current means here ib current because if we change the ib uh, base current then according to base current collector current is controlled so uh, transistor is known as current control device now in this figure this is the base now if you want to control this current flow then base is most important the base is a controlling device now if we change the control current means the position of current of in in control uh, emit uh, sorry in base then the flowing current from emitter to base is different according to the base current this uh, flow of current is changed so uh, we can uh, we know about the current control device and about the current control device all bjt npn and pnp both are the current control device now force volt uh, force is nothing but voltage divided by current here if we give some force to the base then according to the uh, force to the base the emitter uh, the current flowing from emitter to base is change according to the base current so we can say that this is the current control device and uh, this is easily understand using this figure now architecture of bjt if you want to design a architect uh, uh, design a bjt then this type of structure uh, we, uh, using this structure we can understand the architecture of bjt now the bipolar junction transistor is a constructed with the three doped semiconductor region separated by the 2 bn junction now doping doping is nothing but whenever we add some impurity in pure semiconductor material then its method is known as doping here according to the material the doping quantity is different means our doping quantity may be uh, trivalent or pentavalent if you want to design a p type material then you have to add some trivalent impurity if you want to design a n type material then you have to add a pentavalent impurity according to the our requirement we have to add some impurity into the intrinsic material or pure semiconductor material now in this slide we will see the emitter base and collector here the different emitter base and collector and the size and layer of the different uh, uh, material n type p type and n type so we can design a basic bjt and this metallic uh, contact if you uh, uh, this contact is nothing but aluminum or copper contact is required for the circuit uh, connection and this is the internal structure of np and npnp transistor that uh, that we have uh, see in the previous slide slide so this one is about the basic of the uh, bjt now let's uh, see the application of transistor where we use this type of transistor now uh, let's start with one by one now first application of transistor transistor are used in digital and analog circuit switch now transistor is nothing but it is a electronic switch electro uh, static switch we can say that this is the electronic switch whenever we want to on off some automatic device then transistor is more suitable than other circuit so so this is the digital and analog circuit then uh, switch then use in single amplifier device now if you want to design amplifier now friends amplifier is nothing but if you want to increase the strength of our signal or if you want to boost the signal then amplifier is required so if you want to design amplifier then transistor is required now in our cell phone uh, cellular communication or cell phone would be one of the most widely used application of the transistor now in our uh, cell phone there is a many type of amplifier is there the rf amplifier audio amplifier video amplifier then this type of amplifier is made up of transistor so there is a requirement of transistor then use in power regulator or controller if you want to regulate or control the power then uh, we have to use one circuitry using the transistor so uh, one application is regulator or as, as well as uh, controller then fifth in modern electronic ic use in almost every electronic application the transistor are used in the uh, building of some integrated circuit now ic is nothing but integrated circuit now if you want to design a compact circuit Uh, such a uh, mobile or tv then uh, compact circuit is uh, the million of transistor is required and million of transistor are inside the chip 
so the chip design is available using the diode or transistor so this is the one of the most uh, uh, application of the transistor then uh, ic is nothing but the one of the uh, main part of the microprocessor as well as controller if you want to design a microprocessor and controller then at that time the transistor is a more applicable uh, for the circuit design of the integrated circuit now transistor is used in the almost every electronic device means it is a uh, use for the space maker as well as the aircraft now in aircraft design or uh, radar system there is a requirement of transistor then calculator computer radios then hearing phones every daily life device required the uh, good quality sound then uh, at that time the transistor is required now for military application transistor is high power radio means rf application radar application military application navy application all are uh, means any at automatic electronic device then transistor is must required so transistor is a most important and very basic component for the basic electronics now let we start with difference between bjt and fet this is the slide uh, related to the higher version of bjt means higher version of bjt is nothing but the fet now a full form of fet is a field effect transistor now let's take a look between bjt and fet in previous video we have seen about the BG, uh, fet now fet is nothing but uh, it is a higher version means whenever we uh, start to learning of fet then you have to remember about the bjt first you have to start with bjt then after you have to go or uh, you have to understand the basic concept of fet now here the let uh, take a one one by one difference the first is bjt then second is fet then bjt is a bipolar junction transistor or bipolar device now here word you have to remember bipolar bipolar is nothing but in bjt the current is flow using majority as well as minority charge carrier now in fet fet is a uni junction or unipolar here you have to remember unipolar means only one particles means either hole or electron not both at a same time if n channel then only electron or if p channel then only hole is required to flow the current here in bjt there is a name emitter base in collector terminal and in fet there is a source drain and gate terminal so you can also write the terminal name now second its operation depend on both majority charge carrier as well as minority charge carrier we already talk about majority and uh, majority as well as minority now third input impedance of bjt is very less compared to your here you have to write compared to fet the input impedance of fet is very large compared to bjt so input impedance is most uh, requirement of linear amplifier design if uh, input impedance is very high then you can uh, easily develop the linear amplification or amplifier so fet is more suitable than the bjt then fourth it is current control device and fet is a voltage control device this is the most important difference between bjt and fet bjt is a current control device and fet is a voltage control device so here you have to if you want to control the output current then here you have to remember the current and fet here you have to remember voltage here controlling current is ig uh, sorry ib base current and here in fet the vg gate voltage is a control voltage now fifth it is more noisy means noise level of bjt is high compared to the fet in means in fet there is a less noise noise is nothing but one type of unwanted signal we cannot uh, totally 100% remove it but we can reduce it if it is uh, less then it is uh, good for us now sixth it is frequency variation effect is performance means here the frequency variation is nothing but if you want to use the high frequency application as well as low frequency application then the linearity is slightly change in bjt but in uh, fet the frequency response is high so we can use as a high frequency application so here uh, in sixth you have to remember the frequency now seventh 
temperature dependent device means in uh, temperature is increase or decrease according to the temperature the characteristic of voltage and current is change in bjt but in fet it is a bit uh, 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 heat stability is higher so temperature effect is less so we can uh, use as a high high temperature uh, high temperature application as well as the low temperature application now last uh, sorry eight is nothing but uh, uh, price of device the number eight it is a cheaper and it is slightly costly than bjt means fet is a cost of fet is high compared to the bjt and last one is the size according to the size the bigger size means the bjt size is bigger than the fet and fet size is uh, lower than the bjt means if you want to design a compact device then fet is more suitable because uh, nowadays the size of ele electronic device day by day is decrease then at that time you have to go about the or go through the fet so we can ultimately reduce the our circuit and if its circuit size is small then ultimate design of any instrument is become very very small so fet is a small size device so this one is about the uh, difference between uh, bjt and fet okay friends so so this uh, this is the useful video for the basic electronics basic components uh, transistor and uh, basic difference between bjt and fet Okay, you have, if you have to any query, then uh, you have to write the any question, then uh, write down my email ID, then you can write the uh, question, then I, I will respond to you. Write down the uh, email ID, Chetan underscore, sorry, Chetan B at the rate, drsubhastech.edu.in. Okay, thank you.